video, I am showing how to groom your paralyzed corgi video. <laughs> so, you don't need to see my face anymore. But what I always do, it's very important for your corgis to get groomed. Especially when they're paralyzed, right, Jeetle? Because it feels good to them, just like it does for us. I mean, look at Charm's face, as you can see already, her eyes are like, oh, yes, this feels wonderful. Now, what I do um, with all my dogs is I always basically take this comb, and a lot of it is just learning the wrist action. It's all, you got to keep your wrists loose. Mine's all crippled with arthritis. That's why it's all wrapped up. But you just kind of, it's all in the wrist action. What I've always done is I go, you know, I follow the body, go against the hairs. That really helps, as you can see. Look how easy the undercoat is coming out. I mean, that's simple. Anyway, it's extra important to groom your DM corgis, mainly because they're paralyzed and they're laying around a lot. They're always either on their chest laying on their sides and also being in the cart being in the cart when they're in their wheels the way the cart sits over the withers also the way the cart when they're in their saddle you know comes around here and presses on these hairs all the time so deep down in these hairs they will actually get Kind of gooky is the best way to explain it. Not gooky meaning oozy, but just not kind of like a matted feature deep down in because, you know, just the wear of it pressing all the time. So when you want to groom your corgi that has DM, you want to take into uh, consideration those parts and groom them a lot more. So for example, here is where the, um, you know, the bar would go over your dog's withers of the cart. Charm's not in that anymore. She's in a quad cart. So again, you really, really want to get that coat up. Brush against it. Get that, all that stuff up where your corgi's wheel cart um, bar hits across there this area also going down along the girth area so what I've always done is I brush against it against the coat hairs and you can tell look at charm she's falling asleep already some dogs don't like to be brushed I understand that whoa he had a little bit of a reflex there but many dogs enjoy it. Uh, I'm lucky that all my dogs like it. Except the Border Collies, they get a little nervous when I get back by the hind end. But other than that, they like it. Now also, too, this is a very important area to have your paralyzed corgi groomed. They're rough, especially if they're quadriplegic, because they're always laying on that. They're always laying on it, and it gets sort of matted. You know, Charms never has, because I don't allow it, because I keep up on it. But anyway, you really want to get in that area. Really get that area really, really good, because they're always laying on it. Okay? Cool girl, chill bug. So then the same thing goes through, you know, you're going down your whole dog's body. Look how atrophied my poor girl is. She actually looks like she has a big fat stomach. She's only 19 pounds, but it's because everything is atrophied and now it's just hanging there. You poor thing. Anyway, so then, finally, I'm going to slide my chair over here a little so I don't block. This is a very important area for DM Corgi. Mainly, again, because they're in the cart. So when your Corgi is in the saddle, their legs are in here. You got the saddle 
pieces that are, you know, just pressing on that coat at all times. And again, they're just laying around. So just laying down is kind of like us. If we lay on one side of our hair every night when we go to bed, it's going to get all pushed down and really crappy looking. So you want to just kind of, I take the, look at the limp leg. I take the limp leg. So right in this area where the saddle would go, that's really where you want to kind of go back. Just quick, short, little woo-woos. Girl, and see, like I said, I'm kind of being, I'm not really being rough with her, but again, if you need this, if you want this comb to work effectively, you can't be... too gentle or easy with it. It's important to get these areas out. Also back here up by their tail head. Again, because the saddle is sitting up in here. So let me move the camera. So you got to really get up in there good. I always go back with the hair. You can see it flying. Good girl, Jeetle Bug. Okay, and then of course I go down. Again, I continue to groom my dogs using this comb until I can get, if you look, I'm going up the side of her body. It's a little glitch right there. See, there's a little glitch there. So that's where you work on until that glitch comes out. And again, that's even charm in her quad cart. That's right where the saddle goes, that's, that her hind leg goes in. So that's why there's what I call a little glitch there. It's from the saddle just pressing down on that, on her coat right there. Oh, girl, Chet, I think we got it. One more. You see it's coming out. See, that's all here that was pressed down from the saddle. So there we go. Now I can, and I always go other way. So now, see, I can back comb it and go all the way through. So I know that that glitch, oops, is gone. Okay. And then the same thing with in here too, especially right here, again, the saddle is sitting right on this part. Even though it's soft for them, it's pressing on that hair. So that's again where the little kitty comb comes in easy. And you just gently go right up there, get anything out. Good girl. So again, my comb is going without any glitches, so that means all the coat is good. And you're so pretty! And that's about it. And we just kind of go there. I, I'm only showing one side of charm because I did the other one last night. Also, I've learned um, that sometimes as your corgi gets the, um, in the latter stages of DM, you know, having a complete bath, grooming, blowout, all the nine yards like they one, once used to be able to do in one sitting is simply just too physically hard for them. Good girl. So then in another, what I've decided to do to still be able to keep up on her, I mean, look how clean she is. Look at those paws. That's very important. Trim the paw hairs, folks. That is so important. Especially when your corgis are still up and moving uh, in a wheel cart. The less hair they have on their paw pads, the more grip they'll have. So keep that trimmed as, as short as you can. Look how cute your feet are. So anyway, then what I do... Is I, I've, I've had this old horse brush for years. Um, it's just nice and soft. And 
then I just kind of go over just to finalize everything with her paws and her legs always kind of go like it stimulates them don't forget these kids can't do anything for themselves so anything like this is really good stimulation for them which really makes them feel relaxed that is if your dog likes to be brushed I do know some dogs don't like it but if your dog likes it and your poor little corgi has DM make grooming and brushing them and bathing them if possible I, I actually bathe my dogs uh, depending on the weather conditions but normally they get bathed about every three weeks um, as long as you use really good shampoo and you know you have a nice dryer system or whatever um, it's not going to dry their coats out I think it's going to benefit their coats it keeps, you know, they get dust in their coats and dirt when they're outside playing and rolling. Look how good she is. So, look how beautiful your little DM Corgi can look with just a little bit of care. Not to say that you folks that have your Corgis don't, and they do have DM aren't giving them care. I don't mean it that way, but I'm just saying, I'm trying to basically say how important it is, no matter how severely handicapped your corgi is with this freaking disease. Sorry, I had to throw that in. Um, that they get groomed and bathed still. As hard as it is, You'll figure it out. We all learn to adjust. We don't have any choice. Now the breeders, they do have a choice. Yes, they do. So anyway, thank you, Chi Chi. That was a really good demonstration. And I think you enjoyed this very much. You were such a cool girl. Look at you. How beautiful. Look at you.